Salzburg, Austria. Remember yesterday about the, the sky race potentially in Austria. So he is from Salzburg. Let's go, let's go. Putting you on the tripod, giving you a little little behind the scenes. I've never done that before. Where I'm filming as I'm getting set up here in the studio. I think we're ready to rock and roll. Happy weekend. Happy Saturday. Hope you're off to a great start with your weekend. Where maybe you did a long run today, a track workout, an easy day, maybe a day off. I tell you what, just you know, transparency here in the studio. I'm kind of excited for the taper and excited for Toledo. Well, first Naples, then Toledo. Like I can, I can sense, I can sense the body saying 13 week training block. What are we in? We're in week 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, we're in week 10. And it's just like, I can feel it coming where it's like the body saying it's time to take a rest sooner rather than later, but not before testing out. That's right. Don't judge a gel by its cover there it is today's shoe shocker a6 gel cumulus 23 you better believe i was judging this shoe pulling it out of the box today so here is the deal first of all I'm not a crazy big fan of jet black when it comes to a colorway in a shoe but that's okay but i was a hundred percent judging this shoe coming out of the box so much so everyone this is crazy i was planning on just doing a first impression after today's run, 100%, we will take this shoe to 50 miles and probably sooner rather than later, but I already committed to the first impression vlog for today. So here we go. Uh, gel. Ah, oh, gel. Oh my God. You know, so gel, it's this right here in the back here. I don't know if you can even see it, but it's kind of shiny and I've just had some, I'll just say some blah, blah some meh through my time in running when it comes to running in shoes that incorporate and Asics is well known for having gel in their Nimbus lineup and their Cumulus lineup. All right, did 13 miles today. Nice and easy again. I'm just trying to trying to recover a little bit after yesterday's threshold run, which was epic. And thank you for tuning in. Still honing in on that race that I'm going to register for. Haven't registered yet. Thank you for all the comments. I'll get you the comment of the day here in a minute. And as far as around the race, potentially in Austria. Let's dive in. Neutral. Okay, let's do the twist test. It's twisting. It's twisting. Yeah, it's not crazy. But it is definitely twist in there for that twist test in the midsole. We're looking at 10 millimeter drop from heel to toe, 23 in the heel, 13 in the forefoot. But frankly, that's kind of, you know, low to medium. Uh, as far as the stack height, it does not feel 23 and 13 underfoot. I'll just tell you that right now. Women's size 8, men's size 9 on your screen. In my size, let's just confirm, jump it over into ounces. I believe we are looking at, hold on. 8.8 .8 ounces in my size or 248 grams. There it is on your screen. My score, 7.75 out of 10. We're looking at an engineered mesh that is very plush, okay? Plush collar, plush tongue, not a gusseted tongue. Over the top of the midfoot, it just laced up so nice, so comfortable, no issues at all. And yes, the heel counter is stout, very stout. No slipping through the heel. Um, I cannot bend it. Okay, it's like it's there. It's it's definitely stout in there, and you feel it. You feel very locked into the shoe. Is is another way to say it. Uh, not crazy breathable. Uh, at least on the. This is again. This is just first impression. Not my 50 mile full review. Overall score for the upper. I am pleased. Very pleased. Really no complaints with that upper moving on to the midsole we're looking at flight foam midsole material with that gel in the heel and what they did in the 23 versus the 20, oh, 22 they softened it up and i felt it immediately i was shocked i was blown away i was so excited to start because again after the threshold run yesterday my legs are tired and i just was like oh boy this is gonna be a hard run and i was not excited about the gel and sure enough i started going and I started going and I was like, wait a minute, this feels quite nice underfoot. Now it was not um, crazy energy return and there is my score for the overall ride. It's a good score, uh, but it was just the right, it, the, the, the midsole and the gel is tuned correctly 
for a, I'll just tell you right now, daily trainer slash easy day shoe. We'll get back to that in a minute. So overall, very pleased with the score of the mids, the overall feel of the midsole. And again, it's interesting. 23 and 13, I didn't expect that much forgiveness underfoot with that type of stack height in that flight foam and gel combo midsole through the heel. All right, moving on to the outsole. We're looking at Asics high abrasion rubber, okay? It's crazy. Like this outsole is actually pretty dynamic. Uh, so, you know, it's not a decoupled groove here from midfoot down to heel. Plenty of, there is plenty of, of that Asics high abrasion rubber but it's not completely plastered. I like that. And I, I think, okay, okay, I mean, if you need a little bit of grip for slick surfaces, for some reason, wherever you live around the world, you're gonna get great grip. I mean, almost to the point, everybody. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully I've got some good shots for you. Almost to the point you could use this on some, some trail running. I'm not even kidding. Like it's got that type of outsole that is not, it's got some ridges to it. I think this could be used at least on some very, definitely on some buffed out trails, definitely on some trails through parks, you know, where you're crossing over between pavement and dirt, um, 100%. So I'm I'm impressed with that, that outsole uh, overall. There you go for my score. And onto that fit, we did go true to size, no issues, but I will just comment lacing up. I was like, okay, this feels like a roomier toe box. All right, so get, take that with a grain of salt. I did have some thick, I have to look down. I did have some thicker socks on today. Um, and it did, the, the toe box did, I had plenty of room in there. That is for sure. No, no issues with the midfoot being too narrow or too wide. And again, that heel pocket was just mwah, spot on for the fit comfort score. 8.5 out of 10. So plush, so comfortable. It's just, it's awesome. It was just awesome. All right. And I'll, I'll give you the other shoes I would buy here in a second that uh, maybe will give you a little hint as to where I'm putting, as far as like the type of comfort I'm talking about in the gel cumulus 23 positives and drawback. The positive has to be that midsole ride. Yeah, it's smooth and just soft enough. Not too soft, okay? Just soft enough. enough. I'm not gonna say like crazy responsive yet. And again, this is not my 50 mile full review, but um, drawback, I. I don't have one. I was sitting here in the studio getting ready to talk and I was just like, I just can't come up with one. Even the weight of the shoe, it's like 8.8 .8 in my size, considering the uh, how plush the shoe is, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not disappointed with that weight class for the Gel Cumulus 23. Durability prediction, 450 plus. All right, and there's my score. I think it's gonna go the distance, if not a little further than 450. Yeah, uh, yeah, depending on your foot strike, depending on how you're wearing the outsole, I do think it's gonna do just, and actually, I, I, I kind of forgot. Wow, interesting. So, see, it's soft, but it's not, uh, boy, this midsole is gonna last. It really is. Oh, it's good. Let's do the other side where the, the gel is exposed there. Yeah, interesting. No, it's just, it's tuned correctly. That is for sure. How will I use this shoe? Who is it best for? Classic daily trainer, easy day, if need be, long run. I wouldn't be my first choice, but 8.8 .8 ounces actually isn't too shabby. It is a little too heavy for a tempo day, but if you were feeling ambitious and you weren't afraid to carry a little extra weight underfoot, um, you could you know, you know, pick up the pace, but it's, it's not a tempo day shoe. Classic daily trainer, an easy day, in more leaning more so for me in the direction of daily trainer. Who is the best for? Higher drop and plush rot and plush. You know, if you like that plush feel, especially through that lockdown, oh, just really, really plush uh, feeling for you. Price point, $120. There we go. 8.5 out of 10. That's all. Awesome. I'm actually shocked it's not more. I think they could go 130, 135 pretty easily. So 120 is awesome. Great work, Asics. I think uh, I think you nailed it, and that's a great score. So thank you for keeping that price down for everybody out there. Other shoes to buy. It's reminding me of a lot of the Brooks Glycerin 19, um, a little bit of the Brooks Ghost 13, uh, the Asics Gel Nimbus Light 2 to a certain extent, and then it's crazy 
Not exactly. It's not. No, I shouldn't even probably say it. I mean, okay, I'll say it. Uh, the Invincible from Nike, but it's not as bouncy. It's not as responsive. It's not, it's not, it's not. But it's like, that's the type of experience, at least when I was just getting going, I was like, oh, thank you. Like, because the Invincible is so soft, so plush, uh, but it's not. It's a, The Invincible is a, it's a different type of of ride that is for sure so anyway here we go shoe quick specs on your screen for the asics gel cumulus 23 soak it in uh just as uh, you know a classic uh, shoe from asics that has been on the uh, market for many many years in fact not the question of the day but who has been a fan of the cumulus the gel cumulus lineup from asics for you know a while um i haven't been i have i don't have a ton of experience with this guy but it is um it's it's exciting early score solid score 7.83 out of 10. See, here's that's the thing. If a shoe doesn't do anything bad, it keeps the score high. A lot of times a shoe does some things really well, but other things not so well. You know, whether it's the price, whether it's the weight, whether it's the, uh, you know, maybe that lockdown or, oh, who knows? Maybe it's the outsole, you know, too much, you know, just too much on the outsole. So the fact that the, I just feel like this shoe is not uh is not doing t really anything wrong and it's it's almost a shoe that you just know it's gonna work for you when you're at the running shoe store picking it up and you're like you know what i know what i want this is the shoe i don't want to overthink the running shoe purchasing process i want the asics gel cumulus 23 it's not it's not it doesn't have crazy bells and whistles it's just gonna get the job done for you there you go everybody 7.83 out of 10 uh let me get you that comment of the day and here we go comment of the day goes to peter uh, Mueller, I believe is how you would pronounce it, from Salzburg, Austria. Remember yesterday about the, the sky race potentially in Austria. So he is from Salzburg, and he, I asked, you know, what's your favorite sport outside of running? And he said skiing. I was a professional alpine skier during my youth. That's amazing. Now I mainly do skimo, uh, and of course hiking, mountaineering in summer. Where I live, you can go to the mountains, and when the tour or workout is done, you can jump into a lake. So I dig a regenerative swim as well. Greetings from Salzburg, Austria. But then he also goes on, thank you, Peter, uh, for doing a little research. The uh, Hoch, uh, Hochkönigmann uh, race that I'm interested in doing in Austria, according to the event page, the Sky Race is sold out. But then he goes on and helps out. He says the race director is, is Thomas uh, 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 Bojak. If you don't reach him, I can call him, yet I know him a little bit. Greetings from Salzburg, Austria. That's just amazing. Like, that's DGR Strong right there. Thank you, Peter. And I will reach out to you because I, I don't know him. And I just appreciate the help. Question of the day. This is like totally, this is going to be fun. What is, <laughs> what, what, what is the best slow motion video you've ever seen? Right? There's actually a YouTube channel. All they do is publish slow motion videos. I love that YouTube channel. And like, why? You know, like even sometimes when you see a dog that's wet and the dog is shaking the water off, like sometimes those are fun. Anyway, what is the best slow motion video you've ever seen and why that video? Anyway, just a totally random kind of funny uh, question of the day on this weekend day. All right, oh, thank you for being here, everybody. Asics Gel Cumulus 23. We'll toss it to the, um, we'll toss it to the last, actually, no, we'll toss it to the Asics uh, running shoe playlist. Lots of Asics shoes, I'm, re I'm realizing. Wow. Is Asics, man, I'd say they're making a run for the running shoe company of the year. That is for sure. All right, everyone, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.